Today I'm going to be teaching you how to get your Air Jordan 1 ready to resole. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to get your Jordan ready to resole or just sole in general. The tools that I'm going to be using is a box cutter. I'm not really going to be using that. Mostly going to be using a skive. That's going to be the second tool. The next one is just like a little small box cutter. It's pretty much the same as this. It's just, it's more of like a disposable blade, if that makes sense. So these are all down in the description if you're interested in getting yourself one of these tools the um so how i'm going to be using this is as you can see it's all wrinkled up on the toe it's little indented up here as well as on the heel so what i prefer now after lots of trial and error i pretty much prefer to just skive it down and it'll be super easy as you can see it already just like I already knocked off the top layer of leather. So it's gonna be very easy, very simple. But when I started, I used a box cutter and I kind of was like going like this. And that works for if you're like, um, first of all, it only works if you have a sharp blade. So you'll need a sharp blade if you wanna do that. Also with this, I would probably recommend to change the blade out every probably every pair of shoes just to keep it nice and sharp. That's what I do. So for example, say that you don't have a skive and like at the local Walmart, you only have a box cutter or something like this. What you would want to do is you'd want to get it like this and you just slowly scrape sideways like this. And over time, you'll get it to where it's beveled. Now this process, you know, takes lots of learning, but as you can see, it's already nice and flush. Scratch my finger earlier, went into a nail, oh well. But hey, so you get it like this, right? And you just get that motion where it's like, side, it's like sideways, but then you go diagonal. And just like that, it pretty much levels it out. So over time, as you can see, it starts to flatten out very nicely. It just takes a lot more time than like the sky, for example. If we go to the box cutter, <clears throat> the box cutter will be more for like the bigger chunks. So if you could see the bigger chunks on the toe, those things do not want to come off. So then you'll just get the big box cutter. And as you can see, you just scrape off the top. And before you know it, and you can just cut that off too. And before you know it, so also you got that piece, just get scissors. It's a lot easier than just trying to use a blade. So as you can see, it's already flat. So flat just like that. But that I, now that I showed you those two, this is what I recommend after doing lots of trial and error. This is what I would recommend doing. It's 10 times easier. Um, you don't have all the trouble of going through blades and stuff like that. You still have to go through blades with this, but I don't think as much just because how the tool is designed. So literally all you got to do. So here's a little better view as you see the skive. And all that I do is I pretty much just skive the bottom kind of at a sideways diagonal angle. And boom, just like that. You got a flat surface. We got some leather fall down there. Just make sure that you keep your area clean, but we're just gonna skive this again. I'm just gonna go back up cause, cause that initial skive cut down the leather, but it didn't cut down the underneath um, liner. And what I want it to be is flush all the way down. I don't want it to go down and then it's the bottom. I want all these pretty much to be the same level. So now I'll start working on the other side. So I kind of do them all at the same consistency. There we go. And just like that, as you can see, it's so much easier. And I went through that a lot quicker than if I had a box cutter. So I definitely recommend getting a box cutter on Amazon. As I said, the link's in the description. It's um, It also comes with extra blades, so you don't have to worry about that and it'll last you a long time. And you see how easy this is. It's literally just cutting through like butter. Um, sometimes you gotta, you know, you kinda gotta learn the technique, but for me, as you can see, I just kinda put my, my, um, my thumb, kinda hold it on there so I have a pressure. So I'm pushing on the plate right here on the corner, and then I put the blade down and I 
kind of go off of that area. I kind of go off of that power if that makes sense. So, I mean, for the most part, I don't really need to skive anything down already because all that it took was about two skives for this front part. I also got to the very back, so this is all pretty much flush as you can see. Okay, so now that it's focused in, as you can see, it's literally flat on the bottom, which is very nice. It's looking very clean. As you can see, that was like one or two. There was two on that side, I think three on that side. Just swipes and it was literally flat as possible compared to going through all this trouble, which as I said, don't re recommend that. I recommend getting this on Amazon, waiting the extra day, and then you're able to flatten it because if you could see, it's literally sneaking flat on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is work the back. So I'm gonna change the focus angle and then we'll go from there. So here we go. We'll see how many, you know, how many swipes it takes for this. So we'll push that away. And you don't want to go too far where then the, the leather peels up. So you just want to, the whole leather to still stay there, but just enough where it's flat, if that makes sense because then you won't have any leather to stick onto it, so you gotta remember that. But it's coming along very nicely so far. Let's push that back a little bit. As you can see, as I said before, I just love this tool. It's very nice. There's lots of different variations of this, but it just pretty much scoots it down so nice where once you're at the final thing, it's a lot less work than if you had to use something else. And you know, just like that, it is already flat. So I think that took like five or six tries, but We've been here for just a couple of seconds, so I mean, it's not too bad. So that's pretty much what we do from here. So I'm gonna sit it right there. I'm gonna get my contact cement. That's also in the description if you're interested. What I'm gonna do is get a healthy amount of this and I'm pretty much gonna seal the bottom. That's what I like to do. So I'm just gonna kind of wipe everything off, but I, I don't really care about that. Just, you know, get it all off. And what I do is I glue the bottom and in my mind, it just kind of seals the bottom. I don't know if, if it like actually seals the bottom, but this is what I like to do just for my preference, you know? I like to do it because sometimes, you know, the leather can possibly come up. It shouldn't if you glued it correctly the first time, but say that it does and this kind of prevents it. So I just rub my glue all the way over the bottom. And from here, I'll probably set it for about an hour or so till it fully dries and from there we'll heat it up throw the sole on and it's good to go but this step what it does is it makes the bottom of your shoe flat and flush so once you put the sole onto it you don't feel like the ridges on the bottom if that makes sense so it's a nice flush area that when the sole the insole goes inside there's no bumps that are hitting the bottom of that so you're all fine there so this is what this stage is for I'm gonna put that down. I'm gonna put one more, one more layer of it because you just want a healthy amount. I don't really mind, you know, using too much glue because you could always buy more glue. So, just gonna keep it there. But also, you don't want a lot where it clogs up the bottom where you got glumps of goo on the bottom. And there you go. And just like that, the shoe is all sealed up. It is ready to go. You're ready to put a sole onto the bottom. So quick overview of what we did 
First of all, we got our box cutter. If you want that, you could get that. That'll be at local stores as well as this one. As I said, I recommend getting a skive, but if you know you're in the you're in a pickle and you need to do it real fast, you could do it with these tools. It'll just take a little bit longer. I recommend a skive. This was I think five five ish dollars on Amazon. You get the extra blades. As you saw, I just swiped a couple times. It was nice and flush leather. That's what I recommend. What we did is we flattened out the bottom because in order to put the sole on correctly and it to feel great on your feet, you want a nice flush flat bottom. So that's what we did. Just made it nice and flush. If you have little clumps of leather, of glue, stuff like that, you'll definitely feel it into the, when the, like you put your shoe in, but you put your foot into the shoe, if that makes sense. And you don't want that, especially if you're making this for somebody, if you're making it for a friend, if you're making it for yourself, you don't want to feel like a little glump, like little spot in there that's hitting your toe every time and you go in there and there's no dirt in there or whatever. And you're like, what the heck is that? It's because you did this step wrong. So this is a step that you want to make like perfect. The last comes first. That's kind of the, the saying with it. This isn't really the last, but this is one of the steps for the last. Also, when you're peeling over the leather for here, lasting it, glue it correctly. Cause see, if you didn't do it correctly, if you didn't like glue underneath this area, then this, this um, leather will actually peel up. So then once you skive it down, then the leather will peel up and you're like, oh my gosh, what's going on? It's because you did not glue it fully correctly all around here. So remember when you're doing that, that's what you gotta do. You gotta glue it fully correctly, it has to be all good. And as you can see, it's pretty much already dried right now, but it's only been about five or 10 minutes. I like it to fully cure for about 30 minutes to an hour until I do the next step. So that's just my personal preference. But as you can see, it's nice and flush on the bottom, so it's now ready for the sole. Thanks for checking out this video. If you learned something from this, make sure to hit the like button. It really helps out the channel. Comment down if you learned something as well. Let me know what else you'd like to learn in the future. If there's any other shoes that you want me to do in the future, we're pretty much coming down to the final steps on this. So we got to get a new project going. So comment down what you think I should do. Go cop yourself some merch if you want to help out the channel as well. It really helps. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out all my other videos, and have a great day.